That's Rohan's handprint when he was a baby. And that is his handprint when he was five years old. What has changed? The size of his hand and a lot more. Let's learn something about change in this chapter. Look at all these things. Do they eat? Can they breathe? Do they grow? Can they have babies? Never. But why? Because these are non-living things. Only living things eat, breathe, grow and can have babies. Plants and animals are living things. A seed grows into a plant. And a puppy grows into a dog. What about you? Remember you were a baby. Now you are a bigger child. And soon you will grow up to be an adult. To grow up we need proper food, water and rest. Take a look at all these baby animals. Do they look the same as the ones that are older? Well, almost. But the older ones look bigger, don't they? The size of living things change as time goes by. How did you eat or wear your clothes when you were a baby? Yes, your parents did it for you. You needed help to walk, talk and to clean yourself. But now you have grown into a child who can walk, talk, eat and bathe by yourself. What are the other things that you can do by yourself now? You can read, clean up your room, make your own bed and change your clothes yourself. You can also think and make some of the choices or decisions on your own. Which of these cakes would you choose to eat? Which of these clothes would you like to wear? Which of these books would you choose to read? Which of these sports would you like to play? Who is your favorite friend and why? Each one of you will choose differently as your likes and dislikes are different. Sometimes our parents or elders make choices for us because they know it would be good for us. Do you dislike your mother's choice when she says you have to sleep early instead of watching TV? Do you dislike the choice of eating vegetable salad instead of potato chips? These are choices made by your mother for you to stay healthy. Today you can make some choices. As you grow older, you will be making more choices.